And President Park will be the seventh speaker in line at the UN General Assembly. We turn to our Song Ji-san to take a look at how the speaking order is set. The order of keynote speeches is another sector where countries incur a lot of diplomatic wrangling to appear in their preferred order. While each country submits their preferred order, it is up to the UN to decide the final lineup. Around a dozen leaders take the podium each morning and afternoon throughout the six days allotted for keynote speeches. The UN takes into account various factors when deciding this lineup, and the factors include a country's status, the speaker's sex gender, and the distribution of continents, among others. Brazil is the first to go, as a custom that started from the very first UN sessions, where its then foreign minister emceed the event. As home to the UN headquarters in New York, the U.S. is the second to address the General Assembly. This year, China's President Xi Jinping will give his first speech at the UN, following Poland's president. Speaking after Russia's President Vladimir Putin, President Park is anticipated to call for international cooperation on issues facing the Korean Peninsula and to lay out ways Korea can better contribute to the current world challenges facing the UN. Last year, in her first appearance, she delivered her vision for a peaceful United Korea. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe will deliver his speech on Tuesday, as he is categorized as head of government, not as head of state, which would be the reigning emperor Akito. North Korea's Foreign Minister Lee Soo Young will speak on Thursday as the UN puts kings, presidents, prime ministers and foreign ministers last in the order. Each speaker is given 15 minutes that is signaled by a blinking red light, although the speech is not stopped even if its delivery exceeds the allocated time. Song Ji-sun, Arirang News.